Hi everyone, John Stone, the DIY Smart Home Guy. Uh, normally, I would do a pre-recorded uh, video. I've got a siren now as soon as I start in the background. Uh, but normally, I do a pre-recorded video, but today I'm going to do a live video. This is the first live video on my channel. So very interested at the end of this, if you would feel free to leave comments down below so I can get some feedback uh, if you prefer this format over the normal format, which is that pre-recorded. Uh, today, what we want to be discussing is I get questions about three-way switch installation, specifically on the smart switches. And the big question is, can I use a normal three-way switch in conjunction with a smart three-way switch? And that's as opposed to a add-on switch. So normally when you install a three-way switch, you're going to have the smart switch and then there's an add-on switch. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk about a normal three-way switch, how that's wired in. Uh, we're going to talk about different colors and different options that you would have with the coloring for the wiring for a three-way switch. I uh, also want to go through how a three-way smart switch is wired into your house, as well as explain mixing, and norm mixing a smart switch with a normal switch on the same circuit. And just as a spoiler, bad idea, but we'll walk through in detail in this video about why that's a bad idea. And then at the end of this, uh, we'll do one more thing, which is review a smart four-way switch uh, setup when it, with a smart switch. So that's what we plan to go through. And uh, let's uh, see if we can get going here. Uh, I know nobody's really uh, in the video yet, but let's get going and see if we can get these questions answered here. So we're gonna switch over to the screen view and talk about that. All right, so uh, when you're looking at a normal three-way switch, uh, what's happening is you have your voltage coming in from your fuse box and then you have two switches, uh, two different wall boxes that are controlling the light. And when both of those switches are in essentially the same position, in this case, we have both switches in up, uh, what you're going to see is that voltage comes in from the circuit breaker, goes across one of the traveler wires, and goes over and lights the light. If you switch one of those switches down, it breaks that circuit, and that light's going to go off. Flipping the other switch, is gonna turn it back on. Now we have the power going across the red traveler wire in this case, and that's gonna turn that light on. And if you turn the original switch back to the up position, you're gonna have that light go out. So it's pretty straightforward. Essentially, all you're trying to do is make sure that you have uh, the switches across the same uh, wire that's going between the two switch boxes. So pretty straightforward there. When we go over to uh, some of the other wiring color options, uh, depending on how your house was wired and who wired it, you might see the, the traveler wires being blue and red. Uh, there's different colors that I've seen that are in the walls here. Uh, in some other cases, the electrician may have used two normal wires being black and white. And in this case, you'll see where they just ran an additional uh, black and white wire pair across between and those are now your traveler wires and then I've seen some funky things happen sometimes they use a black wire you'll see it hooked into the white wires uh, so that's actually carrying the neutral across and then depending on how they did it they'll either carry that copper wire across or uh, the white wire across and what they may be doing in that case is either just uh, folding back one of those wires or double posting it into one of those other wires like the ground copper wire or something like that. Um, so those are some of the options that you run into. If you do have one of these alternative wiring setups, uh, what I would suggest is that you take some time and go back and look at exactly what it is that uh, they've done to wire this in, check your voltages. Uh, I've left a link in the description below to uh, the installing smart switches and installing smart three-way switches, and this will help you to isolate the wiring that's in your house. It's important that you understand where your line wires are and where your load wires are and what the purpose of each one of those wires is, and that way, when you go to wire in the smart switches, you're not going to have any problems. All right, so let's go back over to the diagram here. And wrong page.
Uh, what's going on here? All right, I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. So let's see if we can try this one more time. Sorry about that first live video. And so you're gonna have some funkiness, I guess, right? And there we go. Okay, so back on the diagram. Okay, so when we look at a smart switch, uh, what we're gonna see here is the smart switch is wired indifferently. Uh, again, this is in the other video that we talked about. Uh, you have your line voltage comes in to the smart switch, and then that load wire in the second wall box is actually just spliced together there. So that load wire doesn't even hit that second switch, it just goes straight over to the light. Now the purpose of the red traveler wire, or whatever color your traveler wire is, it is simply a command wire that goes from the add-on switch back to the smart switch. So to explain this a little bit more, if we turn that light on with the regular smart switch, light comes on, very good. And then if we come over here and say, let's click that off, signal's gonna travel over, travel over to the smart switch, and it turns that light off. Same thing, if we go and we turn that on, signal goes over to the primary smart switch, turns that light on, all pretty straightforward. So now if we talk about mixing switches, uh, this is why that's not gonna work. If that smart switch is on, and you have a regular switch over here, and it's in the up position, of course, that light's gonna be turned on, not a problem there. If we turn that switch off, then, no problem, light is off. If we switch that uh, regular wall switch to the off position and we try and turn that light back on, there's nothing there to complete that circuit back over to the light, so it's never gonna work. Um, basically what you'll find is your smart switch will only work if you have that in the up position. Other than that, you're dead in the water. So that's gonna be, gonna be pretty confusing for anybody in your family. And I would say, you know, my recommendation is don't even try it. Spend the extra money on that add-on switch and you'll be good to go. On a four-way switch, uh, it's basically the same thing. Essentially, you're just adding a second add-on switch in and it wires in the same way as the first one. So your load wire is just gonna go through there. It's gonna be spliced in. And again, in the second box, spliced in. So it's best if you, uh, again, go back over and review that video that talks about how to install uh, those three-way smart switches, and that's gonna give you everything you need to know. And uh, again, it's just the same if you're working with the four-way switch, you, just, you can keep adding these on five, six, seven, eight. You're just gonna be repeating this pattern over and over again uh, if you have those multiple four, five, six switches that are controlling a single light. So not a big deal there. Uh, now, before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and stop the sharing and get back to the video here. Just take a couple of seconds and we'll talk about the smart switch. If you look at the smart switch, there's actually four terminals on this. You've got two on each side. Uh, one of those is for the load, one of those is for the line, one of those is for the traveler. So it's pretty straightforward. Your add-on switch, very easy to tell what the add-on switch is you'll have the terminals on two sides and the other side, it's just blank. So that is the indication that this is an add-on switch and this bottom one down here, all that is kind of fuzzy, hard to see, sorry about that. That is the traveler wire. And again, this is just a command switch that sends that up or that on and off signal over to the primary smart switch. So I hope that cleared that up. Again, first live video. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how to see if there's messages or comments coming in yet. So I apologize if I'm not answering those. And uh, we hope to see you again. Leave me the comments about how you enjoyed the live video. And we'll talk to you later. Cheers.